Hey, welcome to uh, History and Breakfast. So, you know, I'm about to cook up some uh, some hash and eggs here, and it uh, it reminded me of a very interesting um, uh, historical event, and that's the um, the uh, Sepoy Mutiny of uh, I think it was 1856. And um, it's interesting because this is remembered uh, for the wrong reasons. And um, I'm going to sort of go into that and, you know, sort of why it's important to, um, when studying history, <clears throat> to uh, read primary source material instead of, um, you know, just maybe looking at a textbook or watching a documentary or something like that. Because it there's some things like, you know, documentaries, for instance, if you watch like a History Channel or even A&E or BBC and things like that, they're not necessarily providing that for educational purposes. It's more of a, um, you know, they're providing entertainment. They want you to watch their channel so that you watch the commercials and they get paid. So when it comes to the Sepoy Mutiny, it's remembered, oops, shit. It's remembered as... A bunch of Indian soldiers, basically, the sepoys uh, rose up and rioted because they didn't want to bite into the Pattern 51 Enfield uh, musket cartridges because they believed that they contained either uh, uh, pork fat in the case of the Muslim population or uh, cow fat in the case of the Hindu population. And that's like just basically a known fact now, and that's actually not true. Um, and it's, it's a little racist, I got to tell you. Um, so, then again, this, this information is sort of concealed unless you're, you're looking at, um, you're looking at primary source. So, first of all, the, the, you know, the idea of the musket cartridges, they were paper cartridges that contained, you know, a bullet and the powder, and you would bite the end off and dump the powder in and then stuff the, the paper and the cartridges into the end of the musket and then fire it. And, um, again, it's remembered these sepoys. Oh, they wouldn't do it because they thought, and that's that's not true. The, the sepoy, the sepoys were um, very elite, very well-regarded soldiers. Um, they had fought numerous campaigns for the, uh, the British East India Trading Company in India, were highly well regarded by them. Um, very professional. Uh, the British East India Trading Company was an extension of the British government. It was kind of a, a backdoor to be able to do colonial things, but say that you're not doing colonial things. That's a whole other, whole other thing. But um, it, it, the issue wasn't that these cartridges contained. It, it, there was a rumor floating around, basically, and it became very prevalent that these cartridges contained either, you know, pork fat in the case of Muslims or beef fat in the case of Hindus. And it spread around the Indian countryside. And these soldiers came forward and basically said to their command, hey, we have no problem fulfilling our duties as soldiers. And we have no problem biting into these cartridges. But the issue is our families believe that these contain um, beef fat or pork fat. And if we consume that in according with our in accordance with our religious beliefs we will be ostracized from our families and communities and this was a very civil request they asked basically for these things to be tested um, there was very civil negotiations and again you need to be looking at primary source material to, to be able to to realize what was happening they um, they went about negotiating over a couple of months there was some tests of the cartridge but what actually caused the mutiny was the British officers, the East India Trading Company officers that were overseeing these sepoys, in the meantime, during the negotiations, started hanging and imprisoning soldiers who were refusing to bite into these cartridges, again, for the, for the reasons given. And even after that, a little while of that going on was when the actual mutiny, uh, the actual mutiny happened. It wasn't because of the cartridges. It was because they were, you know, hanging people 
while they were negotiating. And so these guys basically were left no choice, the sepoys. It was either I get ostracized by my family who believe this rumor, or I get hung or in prison. So of course, naturally they, they took up arms. And unfortunately it's remembered basically as native population goes wacky over alleged pork fat and it's just, it's just not fair. So, um, you know, make sure that when you're studying history, you're not watching these, these, you know, these docs, you're actually looking at what people had to say at the time, you know, um, you know, you're actually reading primary source material from both sides of any conflict, you know, read what was written by the Indians at the time, read what was written by, by the British officers, the East India Trading Company executives, British Parliament, and it really paints a whole different picture, um, and you sort of or able to see through that lens of personal bias and, and, you know, racial biases of the time, religious, things like that. Um, so it's important. If you really want to understand the, uh, the events that took place and shaped our world, um, you got to eat a healthy breakfast and you got to read primary source material. So thanks for watching.